What is evolution? What exactly does it mean when we talk about evolution as in Darwin's theory of evolution? Well, before we answer that question, let's first look at what it is not. First of all, it is not change. It has nothing to do with a, an animal or a creature changing size, changing shape, uh, changing color, okay, if it's the same kind of creature. Number two, it is not microevolution. Okay, if we look at canines, for instance, there's a huge amount of difference between many of the dogs, for instance, between a um, miniature poodle and a, let's say, a St. Bernard. Okay, lots of difference there, but they're still canines and no evolution has taken place. That would be referred to as microevolution. It has nothing to do with the word as used in the theory of evolution. Number three, it is not evolution as used most commonly. Most commonly, probably 98-99% of the time, it's used as intelligent design. Now what do I mean by that? Well, when you hear most people talk about evolution, they're talking about something that has improved over time with intelligence helping it improve. For instance, um, if you say uh, evolution of the automobile or evolution of the computer or evolution of the airplane okay all of those have to do with th something improving over time but intelligence has been involved in each one of those instances well then so what is it it is the change that causes one kind of creature that is organism, plant, insect, etc., to change into a completely different kind of creature. So, for instance, let's say, let's say dogs had evolved into horses, for instance. Okay, then that would be true evolution, if scientists could ever find uh, any evidence for that type of thing. But by proclaiming the theory of evolution, a person takes on the burden of actually being able to prove that this kind of change could occur and actually did occur. The burden of proof is automatically taken by anyone that proclaims the theory of evolution. And also, there can be no extreme miracles. And when we talk about extreme miracles, we're talking about miracles that have been determined to be entirely impossible without some kind of an outside force or influence such as intelligence or a creator. So those are never allowed. By definition, nothing but the natural is allowed. Well, in videos to come, we will look at the facts that cause all of these burdens of proof to fail. We will see how this theory fails scientifically in literally dozens of ways. We'll look at the subject, did humans live with dinosaurs first? This is a very interesting series of videos that we'll see some evidence that humans and dinosaurs just may have lived at the same time. If you're interested in getting those videos, simply click, click the link below in the description box there and it'll take you to evosecrets.com and we'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.